Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 10 best upcoming 2024 motorcycles worth waiting for first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Honda Goldwing first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Twenty twenty four Honda Goldwing Honda has announced its new twenty twenty three Honda Goldwing, but we have a few rumors to cover for the twenty twenty four Honda Goldwing. Four Goldwing trim levels are available: Goldwing Automatic DCT, Goldwing Tour Airbag Automatic DCT, Goldwing Tour, and Goldwing Tour Automatic DCT. It's expected to get updated lines, colors, technology, and new character detail updates. All four trim levels use the proven 1833 cubic centimeters six-cylinder engine from the history that Goldwing has carved out. Depending on the model, you can choose between a conventional six-speed transmission and our exclusive Honda seven-speed automatic DCT transmission. What to expect for 2024? 2024 Honda Goldwing rumors. Updates keep upgrading until 2025 or with a massive navigation software update in 2023. It is hoped that not only feature updates or Android Auto compatibility, the colors and design aesthetics for the new model will be seen soon. Look at our independent renders that intend to keep your expectations for the upcoming model the same. 2024 Honda Goldwing Colors Update Official model 2024 Honda Goldwing has yet to be announced, but we are very interested in doing the latest rendering by collecting some rumors circulating in various online media. The Versus 650 motorcycle was created to conquer the city, or leave it far behind. Designed to conquer the urban jungle, its ultimate potential comes to life equipped with its long travel suspension and enhanced touring features that have the ability to transport you, your passenger and luggage to the next big adventure. Dedicated features like an adjustable windscreen, TFT color instrumentation with smartphone connectivity, LED lighting and Kawasaki Traction Control KTRC ensure you'll enjoy every ride. For a short office trip or a weekend away, let the Versus 650 be your ultimate travel guide. Comfort and Style All-day riding comfort. A slim, upright riding position offers maximum comfort for rides of any length. A short style fuel tank positions the rider closer to the front wheel for increased controllability and offers a greater choice of forward rearward sitting positions. Complementing the wide handlebar, the footbags are positioned low and slightly forward of the seat, offering a relaxed position while also enabling sporty riding. The seat's slim design in addition to the knee grip characteristics of the fuel tank afford freedom of movement, allowing the riders to change sitting position if needed. The stepped shape of the two-piece seat also provides support for the rider when accelerating. Added convenience. The windscreen and upper cowl offer considerable wind protection and add to the Versus 650 motorcycle's potential as a capable touring partner. The windscreen's four positions can conveniently be adjusted from the rider's seat. The total range of adjustability is approximately 80 mm, with the four positions spaced at 27 mm intervals. 
Conveniently, adjustments can be done by hand by depressing the release button below the instrument panel. Vision for the future. LED headlights add symmetry to the Versus 650 motorcycle's face. LED turn signals add a modern touch, contributing to the bike's good looks. The price of 2024 Honda Rebel 1100 will be $9,999 in USA expectedly. All specs, features and price on this page are unofficial. Official price and specs will be update on official announcement. 2024 Honda Rebel 1100 will be launched in 2023. It will be available in attractive iridium gray metallic and green metallic colors. A much-anticipated addition to Honda's Rebel series is the Rebel 1100, which is scheduled to be on sale in 2024. The Rebel 1100 is a cruiser motorbike that blends cutting-edge style with a strong engine, cutting-edge technology, and comfortable ergonomics. This summary will shed light on a number of features of the new Honda Rebel 1100. Engine The Honda Rebel 1100's potent engine is its standout feature. A 1084cc parallel twin engine, with enough power and torque for both city commuting and long-distance touring, is anticipated to be included. The Honda Africa twin engine, renowned for its dependable performance, is most likely the source of the engine's inspiration. Riders can anticipate an interesting riding experience, a snappy throttle, and excellent acceleration. Design and Style The Honda Rebel 1100 has a sophisticated design that combines traditional cruiser looks with a dash of modern flair. It conveys the feeling of casual riding thanks to its low-slung silhouette, broad handlebars, and relaxing seating posture. The Rebel 1100 is an eye-catching motorcycle with quality finishes, LED lighting, and sleek lines that is sure to draw attention. Comfort and Ergonomics The Honda Rebel 1100 is expected to offer a roomy, relaxing riding position because it was designed with the comfort of the user in mind. Honda drops big CRF 1100L Africa Twin upgrades for 2024. All versions of the Africa Twin have received updates for 2024 with visual, mechanical, and performance improvements across the range. The legendary Honda Africa Twin is receiving updates ready for 2024, with changes to both the CRF 1100L and the higher spec Adventure Sports Edition. The changes for the coming year focus on styling, practicality, performance, and technology. With two bikes and a number of submodels getting updated on this one, we'll focus first on the updates that affect all the models, then drill down into the finer points of each updated machine. 2024 Honda Africa Twin updates applicable to both versions. Still instantly recognizable as an Africa Twin. The new bikes updates center around the front fairing and while they do alter the aesthetic they are also aimed at improving long distance comfort and helping to incorporate the 5 position. Adjustable screen. The 1084 cubic centimeters engine has also received updates for this year and boasts changes to the intake, combustion, and exhaust to produce more low and mid-range torque. And a 7% increase of peak torque meaning 112 newton meters 82.6 foot-pounds is now available. Peak power for both the CRF 1100L and the Adventure Sports remains the same as before at 75 kilowatts or 100.5 brake horsepower.
Honda has submitted certification data in Switzerland for updated Africa twin models, with evidence of substantial changes in store for the Adventure Tour. The preliminary data is specifically for new Africa twin Adventure sports models, with both a manual or dual clutch transmission. The data is only partially complete, but what has been released indicates the Africa Twin Adventure Sports is getting an updated engine and changes to its chassis. As of this writing, there is no data about updated versions of the non-adventure sports models, but we expect that will be available very soon. The certification filings list a new engine code. SD13E, for the manual Africa Twin Adventure Sports codenamed CRF1100A4 and the DCT version codenamed CRF1100D4. Since the 2020 model year when they changed from the previous 998 cubic centimeters engine to the current 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, the Africa Twin models were certified with the engine code SD080. We can confirm the new engine will remain at the same 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, and that the peak horsepower output remains certified for the same 101 horsepower at 7500 RPM. But the torque output sees a jump from the current 77.4 foot-pounds at 6,250 rpm to 82.6 foot-pounds at 5,500 rpm. The engine isn't the only change coming. According to the certification data, the new model has a wheelbase of 1,570 millimeters. That's 5 millimeters, or 0.2 inches, shorter than the Africa Twins' current wheelbase which has remained at 62.0 inches across all variants since the update from CRF1000L to CRF1100L for the 2020 model year. The 2024 BMW R1300 GS is powered by a 1300cc air and liquid-cooled boxer engine with bore and stroke of 106.5mm by 73mm. It makes a claimed 145 horsepower at 7750 rpm, alongside 105 pound-feet of torque at 6500 rpm. It uses BMW shift cam variable valve timing technology with intake valves that are 44 mm in diameter and exhaust valves that are 35.6 mm in diameter. BMW also concentrated on increasing torque throughout the rev range, specifically focusing on the band between 3,600 and 7,800 RPM. There, it says that over 96 pound-feet of torque is consistently available resulting in a strong pull throughout that should work well in most riding situations. At the same time, BMW says, it managed to keep fuel consumption comparable to the R1250 GS, it's just using its power more efficiently. Top speed is a claimed 124 miles per hour, and 0 to 62 miles per hour time is listed as 3.39 seconds. With the new engine comes a six-speed gearbox that is now located beneath the engine, rather than behind the engine. This change in packaging allowed BMW to create a more compact unit, as well as focus on lowering the center of gravity and further centralizing mass. In total, BMW says it reduced engine weight by 8.6 pounds and powertrain weight in general by 14.3 pounds as compared to the previous GS. The chassis. BMW also completely redesigned the frame when composing the R1300 GS, opting for what it calls a sheet metal shell main frame and die cast aluminum rear section. Design. The rear section of the frame was previously made of tubular steel. The 
NT1100, whose combination of performance, comfort, functionality, elegant styling and excellent value for money made it the best-selling touring bike in Europe in 2023. Receives two striking new color updates for the 2024 model year. To add to its comprehensive appeal, matte blue jeans metallic and candy chromosphere red join the ever-popular matte iridium gray metallic in the NT1100 lineup. With all three colors featuring a new matte ballistic black metallic rear rack. Since its introduction to the European range in 2022, more than 12,000 NT1100S have been sold. With more than 66% of customers choosing the option of Honda's exclusive dual-clutch transmission. To ensure that the NT1100 rider can have their bike exactly the way they want it, three dedicated accessories are available that improve comfort and functionality over long distances. Available individually or in three dedicated packs urban, Touring and Voyage the accessories include a 50L top box, fog lights and a comfortable seat. The 2024 Honda NT1100 has been launched, with two new colors and an update to one of the existing paint jobs. Since its launch in 2022, the Honda NT1100 has been sold in over 12,000 units across Europe and the 2024 model year will see the third iteration of what, in 2023, was the best-selling touring motorcycle in Europe. Fundamentally, the only changes for 2024 on the Honda NT1100 are two new paint options, and a change to the existing matte iridium gray metallic color, which gets a matte ballistic black metallic rear carrier that same rear carrier color is present on the two new for 2024 colors which are matte jeans blue metallic and candy chromosphere red other than the paint choices the bike remains the same as that which has proven so successful in europe over the past two years centered around the 1084 cc parallel twin cylinder engine producing 100 brake horsepower and 77 foot pounds steel semi double cradle frame With over 100 million units sold worldwide since its introduction in 1958, the Honda Super Cub offers a combination of practical simplicity and retro styling. Honda says the step-through chassis, clutch-free 4-speed transmission, and lightweight design 238 pounds curb weight, inspire confidence. While the air-cooled 124 cubic centimeters single delivers impressive fuel efficiency and plenty of power for zipping around town. The 2024 Super Cub has a telescopic fork with 3.9 inches of travel, twin rear shocks with 3.6 inches of travel, a 220 mm front disc brake, and a 110 mm rear drum brake. Other features include front wheel ABS, fuel injection, and an electric starter. The humble Honda Super Cub has come a long way since its introduction back in 1958. Back then, it was designed as little more than a commuter with affordability and practicality in mind. These days, it's still as practical, but at the same time, is seen as a status symbol and a lifestyle icon. Available in a myriad of colors and specifications, the Honda Cub remains a mainstay in Big Red's global lineup. Over in Thailand, Honda has released two new colorways for the Super Cub that give it even more retro flair, Pearl Organic Green and Pearl Cadet Gray. The two pearlescent colors give the Super Cub a more elegant and adventurous look, further broadening the style choices when it comes to this charming commuter. On the one hand, the pearl organic green color scheme previously featured in the CT125 Hunter Cub gives the Super Cub a military-inspired look. 
On the other hand, the Pearl Cadet Grey is thoroughly retro, reminiscent of automotive colorways of the 50s and 60s. The Thailand Spec Honda Super Cubs are slightly different from the ones we find in Japan and the US. You could say they're truer to their origins as they make use of wire spoke wheels just like the original Cub. CB350 is updated in Japan with a new color option, and mechanical details remain unchanged. The Honda Nest CB350 is updated for 2024 in Japan, and now comes in a new color option. However, there is also a change in the rear suspension design, and other mechanical details remain unchanged. Color options available and design of CB350 The Nest CB350 also known as GB350 in Japan, now features a new color option called Matte Pearl Glare White. They are adding to the existing paint schemes, including Matte Pearl Morian Black and Matte Jeans Blue Metallic. The previous model features a chrome finished spring on the rear suspension. However, the updated version now comes with a black rear suspension. The change in design could offer a different visual aesthetic and may contribute to a cohesive overall appearance. Features of Honda Nest CB350 In Japan, the Honda Nest CB350 stays the same keeping the modern classic appearance that evokes Honda motorcycles from the past. Several components, including mirrors, headlamps, turn indicators, engine casing, and fuel tank have a circular design concept. On the contrary, the bike has modern amenities like traction control, Honda smartphone voice control, a USB charging outlet, and a semi-digital instrument panel. Engine specifications of Honda CB350. The Honda CB350 powers a 348 cubic centimeters air cool single cylinder engine that generates 20.78 brake horsepower at five. 500 rpm and peak torque of 30 newton meters at 3,000 rpm. Ducati has just announced the 2024 Desert X Rally, a souped-up version of the Ducati Desert X made for more aggressive off-road riding. Thankfully there's more to the Ducati Desert X Rally than just its livery and high fender. Falling in with the trend of getting highly skilled off-road riders to race big adventure bikes and gnarly competitions, Ducati has already fielded the Desert X Rally in the Erzberg Rodeo. with five-time Enduro World Champ Antoine Mio winning the twin-cylinder class. So it boasts a smorgasbord of upgrades over the base model Desert X. For starters, there's 20 mm more suspension travel at each end, bringing the overall numbers to 250 mm at the front and 240 mm at the rear. The front end wears new billet aluminum triples, Gripping a set of closed cartridge KYB forks that sport a Kashima coating on the uppers and a DLC coating on the lowers. There's an Olean steering damper in play too. Like the regular Desert X, the Ducati Desert X Rally has an aluminum swing arm, but the pivot point sits in a different spot. A fully adjustable KYB shock features a bigger piston than the base model's unit. With the suspension changes, the Desert X Rally's ground clearance now sits at 280 mm. Like its sibling, the Desert X Rally wears a 21-inch front wheel and an 18-rear wheel. But the Rally's wheels are built with billet aluminum hubs, Excel rims, and Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires, 
and its rear wheel is half an inch narrower than before. Visually, the Desert X Rally is recognizable by its striking, predominantly red livery, its one-piece Enduro-inspired seat, and its forged carbon fiber sump guard. It also gets adjustable CNC machine brake and gear levers. The Desert X Rally shares the Desert X's 937 cubic centimeters twin-cylinder Testostretta engine, good for 110 horsepower at 9,250 RPM and 92 newton meters at 6,500 RPM.